Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Zima OS, the beta, on Proxmox VM. This makes it to where you can easily test out the new Zima OS that's going on the Zima Cube. So, a, a, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So now we're, we're going to be installing Zima OS on Proxmox VM. And Zima OS is an open be beta right now. So you can get it installed. Um, so here's the comparison features uh, versus Cos OS versus uh, Zima OS. And they're building Zima OS for the Zima Cube. But you can go ahead and test all the features if you want by installing it uh, by itself. This is an operating system, so it's not, it doesn't need an existing Debian or anything like that. Um, it's lightweight, memory efficient. Um, so that's what we'll be installing today. So on the Big Bear community um, forum, I do have a tutorial on how to install Zima OS on Proxmox VM. And these list all the commands that I will be using inside of the video. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. And um, you can follow along and run all the commands as I do in the video. So at the end of the video, we should have it logged in and ready to go. So I'm going to start on my PVE and then my shell. And then I'm going to go ahead and start copying the wget to get the um, the image off of GitHub. So now this could take a little bit for downloading. And then um, now we're going to CD into the directory that we just uh, da downloaded into. And then now we're going to run apt-get install. So now we've installed the XC utils. So now I'm going to go ahead and unzip it. And now I'm going to run the XZ command. This could take a little bit. And now it's done. And now you should see in here, you should see Zima OS 1.0. So we got it uh, da downloaded and into the directory. So now I'm gonna create the uh, VM. So I'm gonna go up here to create VM. I'm gonna put an ID of a thousand in there. And then I'm gonna say Zima OS uh, YouTube. You can put a VM ID of yours, uh, a different ID. I'm gonna say next. And then I'm going to say, do not use any media. I'm going to say next. I'm going to go down here to the BIOS right here. I'm going to change it to OVMF. And then I'm going to change the EFI storage to my local LVM. And then now once you've done that, you're going to say next. And then once you do that, you can increment this. I'm going to say next. And then next. And then I'm going to say next. And next. And finish. So now you can see over here that uh, the local, uh, the, the VM is starting, the Zima OS YouTube right here. It's the VM ID of 1000. So we did create the VM. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So. Let's get back to registered programming. So now we're going to get the operating system mounted on the VM. So I'm going to go to PVE shell, and then I'm going to be in my shell right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the command in for the info. So we're verifying it. There we go. We verified it that it is there. And then now I'm going to paste in the command of the um 
of the import. So now I'm going to put my local LVM here. So the name is local LVM. And then now I'm going to change the VM ID over to a thousand. Now, if you did change your VM ID and you did not use a thousand, you would need to put yours in here. And then now I'm going to import. So now it's importing. And then now we have the import on disk two right here. So I'm going to um, now set the disk. So now the disk number is two. And then we're going to do VM ID of a thousand. Like I said, if you did change your VM ID, you would need to change there. And then now I'm going to put the local LVM in. There we go. And then now I'm going to change the VM ID to a thousand. And then now I'm going to set it. So now we've updated the VM and it should be mounted. Uh, so now I'm going to go over here to the Zima OS and you should go to a hardware and you can see that the hard disk is disk two. So we got to mount. So now once we're in our um, VM over here, you're going to click it. Then you're going to go to console. And then I'm going to start, and when you start, you need to uh, press the escape button multiple times. So I'm going to press the start button, and then now I'm going to start pressing escape over and over. Now we're in our uh, a bio screen. So I'm going to uh, go, go to the device manager, and then secure boot configuration. Now I'm going to turn off the attempt secure boot. And then now I'm going to say escape escape and then continue and then now it's you're going to uh, say continue again so now it should be booting up and it is so now it's running through the boot cycle and getting the os up this could take a little bit okay now it's actually done um so it gave you the ip address of where you can go to see the ui so now you're going to type the IP address that it get, I gave you in the panel into your browser. So I'm going to go to it. And then now it's going to say, welcome to Zima Cube. So let's create your account. I'm going to say start. And then now I'm going to give a username. And then I'm going to put a password in. And then now I'm going to say create. So now... Uh, Introducing Zima OS, connect, stay connected, and browse secure data anywhere, anytime, files and backup, and the App Store. So um, you can join the user experience program right here if you'd like. I'm going to say continue. So now we've got it up and running, and you can see the App Store connect and files right here. So it has a full fi files app. It's really nice, actually. So we got the Zima OS on Proxmox. So now I'm going to expand the storage out um, so it has space for all the apps. So I'm going to go to hardware and then I'm gonna go to hard disk right here. And then I'm gonna say disk action, resize. And then I'm gonna give it uh, 15 gigabytes. So I'm gonna resize the disk. And then now it's re resized, so I'm going to go over here to reboot. I'm going to re reboot it. And then now you can see it's rebooting. It's connecting. Now it's booting up. So now you can go to the UI again. So I just went over installing Zima OS on a Proxmox VM. I wouldn't use this in production. It's still testing and beta and everything like that. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.